The arts, I noticed in this classroom, uh, kind of the impact it had was it had a unifying power and brought a real sense of community as they were talking with each other and learning how to collaborate. They shared with each other things that maybe they wouldn't have shared otherwise. And taking it from the core subject, like for example, the uh, language arts was one thing. We read a book about fishing in the air and it was this beautifully illustrated book and the descriptive words in the book were kind of, they inspired the students to draw certain things in certain ways, but then it also fostered conversation that um, shared stories or um, shared more ideas and I thought that that was, that was unique. I thought it really brought the school community together a lot to have the fifth graders and the kindergartners perform for each other in the same school and they were both were really excited to be able to perform for each other. I also liked that the um, standards kind of like overlapped a little bit and that they were both were about animals and like what's going on with the animals and the science behind it. And so it was a fun way for both of them to learn on their own levels and to observe things about the other's dances and to learn from that. So I liked the way that it kind of brought it all together. So I also recognized how it helped the kids practice social emotional skills to be up in front of their peers and try new things and get outside their comfort zone. Um, and so I just saw, it was so powerful to me to see students on the first lesson who didn't say a word. <laughs> and I barely, like, I tried to learn their name and talk with them and, and they were not interested. And then from that last day they were volunteering to perform. And so it was cool to see the way that their confidence and their social emotional skills increased.